So if you've been paying attention to the news, or you've downloaded iOS 14, you'll know that you can add widgets and also change app icons using the Shortcuts app. But I've seen a lot of people doing themes on their iPhones, so I just wanted to share a theme with you guys that I thought was really cool, and I wanted to show you guys how you can do it to your phones too. So if you play Animal Crossing, you'll know this theme. It's a Nook phone. In the game, you get a phone that's basically made by one of the main characters in the game. Well, in this theme, you could replicate the way that the phone looks using the Shortcuts app and also widgets. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do this using your phone. Oh, also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the TC. My name's David, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can put the Nook theme onto your phone using iOS 14. So I actually found this theme originally from a Reddit thread where people were discussing how they put the Nook phone theme onto their iPhone after iOS 14, but I do know that there is a new version that you can use um, based off of Render by a Twitter artist. I'll put that in the link in the description below, but this version uses the uh, thread I found on Reddit and images using Imager. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click the link in the description that I have down below and you're going to want to download all those images from the Imager. Once you've downloaded all the images, you can open up your Shortcuts app. If you don't have it, you can, you can go to the App Store and download it. Then you're going to want to click the plus icon at the top right and then you're going to want to press search for apps and actions and then type in open app and then you're going to find an action called open app and then you should see it now in your shortcut scripting. Then press choose and then search for the app that you want to replace. So I chose Safari. And then you're gonna to wanna to head click the three dots. And then you're gonna get this menu and rename the shortcut name to the app that you're replacing. So in this case, I'm replacing Safari, so I name it Safari. Then I'm gonna to wanna to add the home screen and rename it there again too. After you're done renaming it, you can click the icon, choose photo, and choose the photo that you want to use for that new icon. Once you're done, press add, done, and then done. And then you should have it on your home screen. See? Now in order to get this part on the top here, you're gonna to need to download an app called Widgetsmith. It's a free app, so you don't have to worry about paying for it, but they do have a premium option. But what I'm gonna be showing you guys is, is completely free, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. So what you wanna do after you open the app, you're gonna to wanna to go to medium widgets. You're gonna have a blank widget, and that's where you're gonna to wanna to click, and then you're gonna to wanna to edit it. So for this case, let's pretend this is a blank widget, right? So you're gonna to wanna to tap it, and then you can change styles and other aspects of it. So in my case, what I did was the photo and date uh, widget for the style. And then for the font, I kept it rounded because it really matched the style of uh, Animal Crossing. And then for the color, I chose this um, teal kind of color because it also matches the color in the new game. And then I centered it on the bottom so that it would be more coherent with the uh, way that it looks on the our home screen and then for a selected photo i ended up making my own photo but i'll share this in the description for you guys after you're done you can go ahead and save it and then what you're going to want to do is press and hold on your screen and then it will go into this mode here and then press the plus button are you going to want to go ahead and search for widget smith see widget smith you're going to click it and then you can add a medium widget that's going to be the one you want you're going to add it and see, I have it in here. So what you can do is tap it and then choose the one that you want. So see, now I have two of the same one. But if I want to delete it, I can go here and remove. That's it. I'll also be posting a link in the description for all of the uh, photos I use. And I'm also going to be posting the photo I used to make the widget. And also probably the instructions for how to do any, all of this. So if you need that, uh, look in the description down below. I think the only main drawback with having this uh, style is that when you open an app, it makes you go and open the shortcuts app before you can go into it. If you had jailbroken your phone, then probably you, you wouldn't have to deal with that. But if you want to stay in the latest version of iOS without jailbreaking and you want these customized uh, icons, you're going to have to deal with it. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully in the new updates, they'll take that out where it won't uh, open the shortcuts app. But for now, we're all gonna have to deal with it. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe to see more content just like this. Thanks for watching.